Well Andy, let's um, have a look at some of the latest systems in the uh, BMW Connector Drive program. Okay, I think a great place to start in any car system is probably from navigation and what's available to customers within the navigation system. So I'll dive into there on the menu. And let's start, let's have a look at the map screen. So from where we are now, we can see the roads around us. You can see a lot of green there shown on the map. That green is showing traffic flow across major roads. So that traffic flow, it will work using mobile phone SIM card data. So it will track SIM cards traveling across a route. And as that SIM card travels through the area at the expected speed, it will show as green. You can see a couple of little areas just along here um, near Woking on the map where you've got a yellow area where it's slowed probably about 20% below the expected speed and red where it's probably stationary for a short distance. So that information is there and it's available to you. What you can also do is as you've got a destination set up here, so I've just a moment ago, just go into the guidance and currently set looking at Westminster. I thought good chance it'll show poor traffic for us um, when we're looking at this on here. So what you can also do is even see pictures at the destination, so you can bring up Google Street View if you want to in the car. So if it's somewhere you don't know, it's a great opportunity for you to dive in, see what to expect if you're looking to find something along the street. Also, if I just come back out, I'll use the interactive map and then also have a look at the destination. Okay, so I can dive into the interactive map that's here and zoom into our destination, so this is Westminster. As we go in, it's an area, say for example, I don't know this very well, as I zoom in, what you can see is it'll pop up with a 3D map of what you'd expect to see on the roads around you to help identify key landmarks. So as you're driving through central London, for example, you can then pick out, as you go past Big Ben, I need to take the left. It's quite easy for you to spot that as you're driving along, and then it keeps your eyes focused on the road, especially if you looked ahead as to what you should expect to see at the destination. If I just pop back out a second. I'll just come back out of that. So that's navigation. You've obviously got the weather information here. So the live weather feeds showing that around Southampton it's quite sunny at the moment. But what you can also do is then look at the weather forecast ahead, not necessarily just along your route, but maybe you want to look a couple of days ahead. Sure. That's so what we'll do is come back out and go into connected drive. So this is where a lot of the connected functions are available to a customer. So you can see a couple of those that are listed here concierge service, this is where there's a 24-7 line you can call up, have a destination sent directly to the navigation. So while you're driving along, don't need to take your hands off the wheel, don't need to be searching POIs for yourself for points of interest, you just phone someone and ask them to do it. Okay. If you're going to pick someone up or get from the train station or get the train yourself, you get the caught in traffic, phone them up, find out the train time, is the train delayed? Is there a later train that you can get? They can tell you this information over the phone. So again, you can keep on with your journey and don't get delayed. But just so I was mentioning weather, we're going to BMW Online. You can see here, next couple of days ahead, not looking great here in Farnborough. <laughs> nice today, but by the weekend, turn in. And that's there available. You could then change that destination and look up, say you're going down to the seaside for the weekend. You could have a look and see what's there for you. Go and see news information. So if I click on news, we've then got news feeds available for UK, business, sport, world going down, you can see some of the headlines that are there as yeah. well, and then go and click in and get the full article. So if we just click in on the top one, so I'll just refresh in the page, so I can click in on the first article, I can then actually have that read out to me. Right, okay. So again, here, this is something that could essentially be quite text heavy, you don't want to be trying to read that while you're driving. So you use the readout function that's available to you, and that's available throughout the screens within BMW um, Connected Drive and the iDrive. Okay. So something else we've been talking about, destinations, and maybe going somewhere for the weekend. Go into messages. What I can do is, from my phone or from a PC, use Google Send to Car. It will then appear in the car as a message. So the bottom one here, Buckingham Palace, was sent as a destination, say from Google or from mm -hmm. the BMW Connected Drive portal. This top one above it, if I open it up, this is a message um, that someone has previously called up to the concierge service in this vehicle and asked for the destination to Heathrow Terminal 5. So you can accept a destination, start the guidance, or if it's a business, you can call them. Right. 
So if you want to find out a restaurant or a hotel, you can actually get their number as well as their address. So you can make the call to make the booking or let them know you're running late for your table. If I pop back out. One new feature is the BMW Connected Drive Store, something I mentioned before. What you can now do is add services that suit you when it suits you. So real-time traffic information, it comes bundled with our professional media system. If you wanted to add it to our entry navigation system, what you can do is then buy it and buy it just for one month. So you can buy a subscription plan that suits you. Right. So you can get that live traffic data for the period you're going away. So you're driving away for uh, two weeks in the summer. You could add that for that one month in the summer if you want to. It seems a much better solution than being uh, required Tied to in. tie into a long term exactly. contract. Exactly. Yeah. Flexibility that will suit customers, but then it's also available on a used car. So maybe the previous owner didn't value something that you might in your car. You can now go in and add that service as it suits you. It's very easy to do. Go in and get the connection. It will now load up the Connect Drive store and you can see the services that are available. So you can see what's already booked on your vehicle and available for you. So BMW Online that we were using a moment ago. You can see when that would expire. So three years ahead from new yes. in the car as standard with the professional system. So you can see at the end of the three years, you could then ex extend that for six months or one year, whatever suits you. Mm -hmm. You could also then add new services. So one that's available here is online entertainment. This is the music streaming service that we discussed before. So if you want to, you could now buy the music streaming along with the data prepaid for you in the car, as well as the subscription for at home as well. And that can be purchased in the vehicle. All we need to do is create your account online first, and then you can buy it in the car or buy it online and then it will download into the vehicle for you and activate. Okay. So those so are some of the features that are available. Also, app integration. Well, I haven't got um, the apps integrated now. Within Connected Drive, you could then go into Connection Assistant and then load up a series of applications, whether that's Spotify, and link your Spotify playlist into the vehicle, then using your phone's data. So this gives the customer the option of either streaming music using the car's data or they can use their own data on their phone, whatever suits them. And then also applications like Twitter are available, Life360, where you can actually see where your friends may be. You can locate people in your contacts list using that application as well. So it brings external applications from your phone into the vehicle. Other bits that are now standard on the vehicle include BMW Emergency Call. So there's a small SOS button located just up here in the car. You can either manually activate it. Say, for example, someone's trying to break into the car while you're in the car park at night and you're in the vehicle and you feel threatened, you can use it to call the police. Mm -hmm. So you don't need your phone. The battery on your phone may have died. With the BMW system, the SIM card is built into the car. So all of that is prepaid. That can then roam across multiple networks if it needs to to make that emergency call. Brilliant. Thank you. That's okay.